So there are so many symptoms of PCOS ranging from irregular periods. And when I talk about irregularities from absent periods to no periods to prolonged periods or heavy periods. Mm -hmm. Also, some people experience infertility, so difficulty in trying to conceive. And in fact, PCOS is the cause of infertility in 7 out of 10 women. So if you take 10 women who have infertility, 7 out of them might have PCOS. Other symptoms are physical, so you can have things like thinning or balding of the hair. Oh, I suffered. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Patchy spots. Some people even lose their hairline. Acne, dry skin, and then there are dark velvety patches you can find on the neck, in the armpits, behind the knees, and at folds. We call them ac acanthosis nigricans. So those are some of the things. Oily skin can also be one of the things people experience. Really? Yes. Oily skin. So it's it's a wide range of things. People discover so many things. Some people even describe some rashes or some kind of um, differences in their skins, the textures and everything. I was going for my first pap, pap smear ever at the age of 22 and I got diagnosed with PCOS. Basically, how do doctors diagnose? So we use the Rotterdam criteria, which is an internationally accredited criteria to diagnose PCOS. So you need only two out of three of the things we find. Irregular periods, signs of excessive hair growth on the chin, face, on the abdomen, and then lastly on ultrasound, signs of polycystic ovarian syndrome. So signs of polycystic 